Hey guys, I'm here with my little buddy Hans. He's supposed to be going to sleep, but he wanted to spend a little bit of extra time with mom tonight. So I got a lot of emails from you guys today. Thank you so much for those. You guys had some really good questions. I wanted to first start off by talking about Word Within a Word, because that was the most frequent question that I received today. Hold on, buddy. Um, with Word Within a Word, guys, I know we were supposed to have that test over the 16 on Friday. Um, and I am a little unsure, given the nature of our situation, how I'm going to handle Word Within a Word. So my plan is, I think, over the next couple of days, and I'm going to let you guys know what the plan is for Word Within a Word on Friday. In the meantime, I've got some things for you to work on for your Great Americans project. Today, we're going to start talking about noodle tools and when and how to start citing those things. So I am going to be showing you a couple of things here in a second on my screen that I'm going to guide you through. And as always, guys, if you have any questions, shoot me an email and get back to you as fast as I can. All right, guys, we're going to start off today by taking a quick look at your calendar. The first thing that I want to point out on here is that after you watch this video, I want you to start working on research for Body Paragraph 2. I had a few of you who emailed me some really good questions today about the obstacles that your individuals had to overcome, and some of you communicated to me that you were struggling to find some things. So if you're feeling stuck when you start researching that second obstacle today, just shoot me an email. I'd be happy to do some quick searches for you and send you some articles if you need it. Don't forget that as you're working on those body paragraphs, keep color coding those sources, guys. It's going to be really important once we start working on those in-text citations. Now, while um, you are working on wrapping up this research, we need to start talking about the third thing that I have on your calendar for today, which is citing sources in noodle tools. And if you're reading this while I'm talking, you're going to notice that it says that you do need to write annotations for this bibliography. Now, I know I told you guys in class that we are not going to be annotating this time around, but since you are not actually doing a presentation, I do need another score or grade for you in Power School for this project. So I am going to have you guys annotate your sources. But you will notice, guys, you only need to have a minimum of three sources in your bibliography. With that said though, if you use more than three sources, please go ahead and cite those and annotate them for me, but the minimum is three. Remember that if you do have three sources in your bibliography, you do need to have three sources in in-text citations throughout your essay. So remember, the citations in your essay need to match up with the citations in your bibliography. Now guys, it has been a really long time since we have done annotations. We have not done them since the fall. So what I have put on your calendar for today is a link to this document that I have up on my screen now. If you were to pull it back up on your calendar, you will see here that it says use this annotation help sheet. Everything that you need to know for annotating is on this document here. It says what do I need to include in an annotation. So remember there are three things that you need to include in that annotation. There are or three sentences that you are going to include within your annotation. So you're going to start off by telling me what type of source is it, tell me how you know the source is reliable, tell me the kind of information that can be found in the source. All right, so those are the three big things that you're going to need to be able to include. I've included some important reminders down here at the bottom. Remember, guys, that this is really important. All of your annotations need to be written in the third person. So don't use those words like I, me, or my. Refer to your sources as this source. Don't say my source. We um, have some different formatting that we need to do when we add annotations. As we get closer to wrapping up the project, I will go over all of these requirements down here at the bottom with you that I just highlighted in green. We're going to talk about how to do some of those things as we get a little bit closer. But for right now, remember that these are all the things that you need to include in your annotations because I'm going to have you start working on those today. Now, just to give you guys a quick reminder, I'm going to jump over to Noodle Tools. When you get into Noodle Tools, guys, I want you to create a new project. Once you create your new project, you can name it like Great Americans Research Project, or you can call it Great Americans. And then remember that we are working with citing everything in MLA. Once you get into your project, you're going to click on new source. 
and then you are going to either cite your website or you are going to cite a book. Now, for most of you, since we don't have that book cart here at our homes, um, you're gonna be citing websites. So when you go to websites, most of you guys are gonna be citing everything as a web page. You can put in your URL, you can put in your date of publication if you find it, you can put in the date access, which would be whatever day you found that particular piece of information. If you find an author, you can add an author on here. If not, you can leave it blank. Make sure to put in the title of your web page or article. You are then going to put in the title of the website, publisher, if you can find it, and then you um, can leave this part down here at the bottom blank. Now, the most important thing, guys, is this box down here at the bottom. This box down here, this is where you're going to add your annotation. Make sure that you're following those guidelines that I had on that help sheet for you. Once you are done, you will press save. And since I don't have anything here, I can't submit it, but you should be able to save it. And then you can go back to your project and you should be able to see once you submit it, you have your source there with your annotation as well. If you have any questions, guys, or you're stuck on Noodle Tools or you don't remember how to write annotations, just shoot me an email. I'm happy to help you guys out. Um, one last quick thing that I have for you, I'm going to jump back to calendar, is that on your calendar for today, you're going to notice that I have a fourth item on here, which is if you want me to check any of your work before you turn it in, I've created a check my work drop box. This is something that I'm going to check every single day. Usually I come in and I ask you guys during class, hey, do you, is there anything I can help you with? Is there anything that you want me to check? Well, since I can't actually be with you in class, this is the best alternative that we have. So if you want me to check anything along the way, go ahead and stick your work in this Dropbox. I will check it for you. I will leave you feedback. And once I'm done, I'll mark that I have checked your work so that if you wanted to resubmit something to the Dropbox, you could. So this is just a way for you to get feedback from me on something before you turn it in. If you want to use it, great. If not, that's totally fine. Um, but this is just something that I wanted to let you guys know about, and it's something that I'll be checking every night. All right, guys, I think that is all that I have for you for today. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me and I will actually be posting our next lesson on Thursday um, because tomorrow we don't have anything because Mrs. Vidal is actually going to be doing a guidance lesson with you tomorrow. Um, and as a quick reminder, before I let you go, I am going to just point out really quick that I put the Dropbox on your calendar for Thursday for your research organizer. So don't forget, those are gonna be due on Thursday. Um, this will count as your attendance for Tuesday and Thursday. So guys, it's gonna be really important that you're getting those research organizers to me by Thursday night. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later.